don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane. That table can only mean one thing. We'll be playing the Sega Genesis. On uh, today's episode of Memory Lane, we're going to be checking out Super Mario 2 for the Sega Genesis. Now that's right, if uh, Super Mario 3 wasn't good enough, let's check out Super Mario 2 and just in case you missed it, we did a video on this game a few days ago. If you missed it, definitely go on the channel and check it out. So now we have Super Mario 2, that was definitely a bizarre version of Super Mario 3. So uh, I can only expect this to be even more bizarre, Super Mario 2. And uh, once again we have our bootleg Sega Genesis AliExpress cartridges right here. With uh, all the uh, misspellings. See a void at the very first word on the uh, caution is misspelled. And this is rated Kids to Adults, K to A. And uh, we have a, an official Sega seal of quality, which I, I highly doubt that's a thing for this game right here, so yeah, let's head over to the Sega Genesis and let's play Super Mario 2, but first, let's take a look at this uh, label art right here, it looks like Mario is having a uh, good old time. Uh, there's nothing really much to see here except for Mario, so let's head over to the Sega Genesis and uh, let's see what this is all about. Alright, so we have our Sega Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, whatever you want to call it, right here. We got our Super Mario cartridge right here, which is ridiculous. Let's pop it in, let's head over to the CRT, and let's have some fun playing a bizarre Super Mario game. Alright, so here we are playing Super Mario 2 on the Sega Genesis. I don't expect much from this game based on... Now that looks like Super Mario. That looks pretty good. Let's see what we got here. This is a little bit of a demonstration of what the game looks like. The audio sounds a little off. All right, let's try it out. We have our uh, little illustration of Mario right there. And the uh, jumping is like real fast. So this looks kind of like Super Mario 1. So you saw right there we went down the tunnel. This is weird. This actually looks like a pretty good ROM hack. What the hell? So we, it, it plays fast. You can see right there. But this is li literally... It looks like Super Mario All-Stars. What the hell? So the, the first... Super Mario game I played on here... It, it, I think it froze in there. It was weird. It's like some Russian Super Mario 3 game. And I thought it was Super Mario 3, but it wasn't. We'll see how far we go here. This is actually pretty cool. Oh my god, you even have the firepower. It's really fast, though. Like, it... it And much like the uh, NES version of the game, you can actually cheat. Run straight across. It plays a lot faster, which is really weird. Oh my god. Are you able to go down these tunnels? Let's find out. Oh. 
So immediately you warp into another level right here. That's interesting. And it doesn't look like the same world as World 4. This is actually not a half bad Super Mario Homebrew ROM hack. For the sake of chances, I'm actually quite impressed. If it was a little bit slow, slowed down a little bit, like the the gameplay is a little fast, like Mario jumps like like he's on crack. I like when you shoot the uh, the enemy, you stay like flattened. It's pretty funny. Oh my god, I almost sold on the hole. So far, this is actually not bad. So here we are, we gotta jump over here. <laughs> you see he's sliding down a pole, and he's like halfway off. It's pretty funny. And he's like in the ground right there, what the hell's going on? Well, we are in World 2, Level 2. And now we are swimming. Oh no, no, no! I'm getting uh, violated by a jellyfish. Oh my god. Oh! That's the first time we died. What the hell? Let's go down here. Oh, oh the jellyfish is coming. This is so weird. Playing Super Mario on a Sega Genesis, and it actually plays pretty good. Let's see if we can run. Get out of here! Whoever created this, uh... This ROM right here, this homebrew Mario game... They probably... Whoever created this probably did it years ago. Probably back in the 90s. Or early 2000s, my guess. Whoever did it, did a pretty good job. Well, we can have run underneath the water? Is that... Oh! Even the graphics, like the, the continue screen, looks pretty good. Good job to whoever did that. Whoa, what the hell is that? I did that on purpose, and I don't know why I did that. It's so weird. It plays like so fast. Oh no! Right now I'm just goofing off. Oh my god! What the hell is that? I've never seen such a thing before. That is insane! Look how much points I'm building up. Let me see if I can do it again. Oh, he killed me! What the hell? That's hilarious. Yeah, look at that! That's crazy! How the hell do you die when you jump back on it? That's... I must say that this this uh this ROM is actually pretty good. The controls the game runs really fast, so this is I don't know. You can do some pretty damn cool tricks in this game. 
Armo! Alright, so let's uh, see if we can make it to the end of this stage right here without dying. Oh, I almost landed on that thing right there. Whatever the hell we want. Let's see if we can come over here. Oh, unbelievable. This is actually a pretty fun version of Super Mario on the Sega Genesis. I almost spit on myself for a second. I don't know why I did that. That is cool. That trick right there. You can ride the uh, the whole turtle shell. Oh! That was so close to that. I almost died again. Oh. It's like when you jump in the midair, you can like go over the place. It's, it's crazy. Now oh, this guy you put off is walking up. Oh no, I walked back into the hole. Holy crap. Oh, this is like Mario on speed or something. It's like crazy. Let's try that again. This is actually pretty fun. Uh, I, once again, I tried to warp to... Oh! I tried to warp to uh, World 4. Like, normally how you would do it in Super Mario Brothers Part 1. On the NES or Super Nintendo. But it... It did not work. I jumped on top of him! What the hell was that? Oh my god. So this game is unpredictable. Sometimes when you jump on top of your enemies, you actually die. Like, what the hell is that? There's no reason for me to die. What a frustrating asshole game. Alright, let's skip this whole area right here. It'd be nice to go down a tunnel and just skip the whole level. What the hell was that? There was no hole there. Holy shit. I fell through the ground. Let's go try that again. That was really weird. There was literally no hole there, and I fell through the ground. Oh my god. So let's uh, head over to the same spot we were in before. Okay, so we were over here somewhere. Somehow I fell through the ground. I think it was right on the other side of this right here. I fell through the ground again. There's like some sort of glitch in the game. Wow. That's the reason why prototypes and betas exist. So that you can fix your bugs. Well, these games, there, there was no such thing. So we got a game over. But it still gives us the same continue, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's use our health over here. Oh yeah, let's use the star. <laughs> you can hear the sound from the star. 
the star went away too quick. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill that thing and get our, uh, our health back. And there we go, building up some points. Oh my god, I almost died. It's a pretty cool game. I actually like it. This is really weird seeing Super Mario on a Sega Genesis, but this, whoever made this game executed it quite well. It's actually not bad. Now, uh, if you walk in between that second and third tunnel, you actually fall through the ground, so don't do that. I learned my lesson. I have no idea what the hell that was. But here we made it to the end. Yeah, look at that. And Mario went into the castle. He's doing pretty good right now. And he is in the ground. As you can see there, his feet are stuck in the ground. All right, let's uh, move on to the next level here. It's that bastardly watered level I hate. That stupid jellyfish. It's a good thing that they don't have uh, dolphins in this game. Dolphins are probably the rapiest animal in the world. It's bad enough that I have jellyfish going after me. Oh! So we're looking around. Oh, oh no! What the hell? No, oh, not again. Okay, so. It made me start over again. Damn it. So as you can see here, this is Super Mario Bros. 2 on the Sega Genesis. Really weird. Somebody definitely made this game. And I must say that I actually think the game's not bad. I did not expect it to be this bad, or this good that is. My expectations were pretty low, and I must say that this game passed my expectations for a cheap bootleg AliExpress uh, homebrew Super Mario ROM cartridge for the Sega Genesis that should not even exist to begin with, but it does. Now on uh, the last Super Mario video that I actually made a video on, uh, there was a Russian viewer that commented down below that said that these games are quite common in Russia so I'm not sure if he might actually might have played this game before I'm not sure but this one's actually not half bad this one's actually okay oh so yeah what do, what do you guys think about this do you want to see more crazy bootleg cartridges on the Sega Genesis I have more I have more to, uh, to actually record I have a lot more so I'm not gonna tell you what I have I'm going to give you guys a little surprise here, but uh, comment down below and let me know what you think. If you want to see more bootleg Sega Genesis cartridges, or even NES cartridges, uh, comment down below and let me know what you think. If you want to see more, that's it. I'm going to continue playing this madness right here, and uh, let's see if I can make it to World 3.